So I've been thinking, and I think minimalism is the solution to all of my problems. Everybody shows us how minimalism has changed their lives, and it's um, it's it's the only way to live, right? I'm not convinced this is true for me. I like my mess, and I don't want to give it up. I don't. That's I've tried. I've been married nine years, and the first five of those, I tried really, really hard not to be messy. I tried so hard. In a couple of those years, I, I paid for an art studio. I paid for an extra, um, like, basically a hotel room within the, in the apartment building we lived in. So it was, like, a hotel room down. It was a ghetto hotel room. If you want stories from that hotel room, let me know, and I'll tell you. But so then we realized I couldn't do it. It wasn't going to happen. Work wasn't going to get done if I had to stay clean. And then... So I rented the studio space with money that I made from selling my art and teaching lessons. And then we realized that, oh, it's going to be better if it's in the house so I can do it all the time and don't have to drive somewhere. So then, um, so that's how I ended up with an art studio is it's, it's necessity because my husband's a very clean, neat, tidy person. Take me and take the opposite of me and that's him. And he needs a clean space or else he just gets like, whoa, but I'm the other way around. Like, I need to go and retreat to my space that's a mess, and it needs to be a mess for me and not to please other people. I think I've grown up, um, I think, like, there's a lot of, like, people-pleasing that I grew up with, and, and maybe everyone grows up with that. I don't know. Maybe every family is like that, but that's something that I don't want to do. I don't want to try to make you happy and try to be what you want me to be because you want me to be. Like, that's not who I am. Like, I, there are values that I have. Um, that I really, really care about. And there are things that I don't care enough to change for other people. <laughs> and I've thought about doing minimalist videos. I've thought about doing decluttering videos. But at the same time, I'm only doing those for likes. I'm only doing those for views. I'm only doing those for you guys. Which I love you guys. And I want to make what you want. But I can't do it at the expense of Hey guys, I'm Felicia Vallum. I'm an artist and traveler. Uh, I'm also currently a stay-at-home foster mama. Um, also a language learner. Kind of an eclectic free spirit. I love lots of things. Um, and I realized that if my channel was more one thing, I'd probably have more subscribers, but I don't really care. I love you guys. Those of you who do follow me, um, you have been amazing. I have no desire. There's aspects of my life that I have desire to clean up and organize. But it's mostly for other people. It's mostly to impress people and to look and to get those good Instagram photos. I have no desire, really, to declutter my life. Um, I think some things, like the toddlers, they do better if they have if they have the space clean and organized and everything goes back in its place. I believe in things having their place. I believe in things having their place. And I believe in things not taking over. Um, but... Projects and study and things I find beautiful and love, there are many of them. I'm not a white walls type of gal. I like a mess. I like my clutter. I like my art studio space a mess. And I don't plan to change that. Um, even though it's it's the thing to do with, with uh, YouTubers and Instagram and Pinterest. And I'm not that person. I'm not going to pretend to be that person. And I think some people really are that person. But I think, I think to some extent too, like it's about clearing your mind and becoming you and more free. But if you're doing and following all these rules because everybody else is, is that really you? I feel like there's this thing like you are trying to do this thing for yourself and then it becomes following, following all these standards of... What is a minimalist? Am I a true minimalist? Am I following all these rules? Am I doing it right? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Who cares? Be you, do you. Um, anyways. I think I have a lamp growing out of my head this entire video, but I'm not recording it because I'm in a mood now and got that kind of time. So, welcome to Veda. I'll see y'all later. My locks are growing like crazy. If you want another lock video, let me know. Um, oh, I have new jewelry. I do have new lock jewelry. So if you want a video, I want to do lock sprinkles too. Also, I want to bleach my tips and then dye them red. Also, <laughs> check out my Instagram. I'm doing lots of lock stuff on Instagram. Um, and I know that it's just hair, but I, 
it's been a journey and it's really, really exciting to see how far these babies have come. Like they've done, I like them. Um, thanks guys for watching this video. It's totally random. I don't know how many videos this will be. And maybe I'll just post these as individual clips and not edit them. But they'll be like bloopers or something. Because I'm being ridiculous right now. I'm in a mood for real, for real. Like, I don't even know. But, but, uh, foster babies do that. Like, both of them, they, like, they sleep in right now and get crazy. So, um, anyways, anyways. Um, thanks guys. My name is Felicia Fallon. I'm an artist and traveler, cultural studier, language learner. And currently stay-at-home foster mama, which is crazy. So I will see you guys later.